Okay, so I just want to say right off the bat that if you want to do aquaponics, you might want to start small because I went full out. I went completely all out on this project. Kind of regret it, but not really. Um, so what I did was I just ended up finishing what I had started. I got grow stones, lava rock, rock wool, started sprouting seeds, and everything was pretty good. I ended up going to get more fish. I got a couple goldfish, I got uh, ghost shrimp, some bottom feeders. And the thing is, is the most expensive bottom feeder I got, this fucking stupid fish got wedged in between two rocks. You know, I, I had went to work. I figured he was just chilling there, bottom feeding. But no, he wedged himself in between two rocks and died. Kind of ridiculous. I did not think it was going to be that bright. Whoa. <laughs> I would have gotten light pollution tickets, and yes, those are a real thing. If your light spills out of your apartment and pisses somebody off in LA, they can write you tickets, and I don't want to get kicked out for that. So once I had all the fish in there, everything was good for like a couple months. I ended up getting LED strips that were the wrong description. I uh, had to do some returns. Ended up getting strips that work, but also, again, wrong details in the product description. And they don't work. They stop working after about a month. I've already ordered some more, I'm waiting for them. So setting it up wasn't that hard. Bullshit happened though. I decided to downsize my system. I had my goldfish die away slowly. I'm guessing it was swim bladder disease. All the fish that I had that people said would die, didn't die. And the goldfish, the fish that people say can survive through anything, they're the ones who died. So I'm moving it all down to a 10 gallon tank. And I'm shifting my mindset more so it's a self-watering system. I'm still gonna have fish because my smallest fish, they seem real good. It was a whole lot of work, it took me four days. I got the top grow bed to split into two. One goes into the swirl filter and one directly back into the fish tank. And now with this new setup, I have way more space on the top, which gives me more grow media room. I have way more room to grow plants. the gravel and I re-entered it into the system and now I have a new fish tank set up which is very minimal and it all fits on my shelf which is awesome all right so we got it set up 
One little small thing I would like to note is that when I got back from work, the night I had got the water in it, it almost capped over because I did not tighten the top grow bed faucet hard enough so it had a small leak. I was very lucky that it did not spill over. It was right on the edge. But yeah, that's what I did. I had to downsize. I redid everything a little bit. I think I made it a little bit better. Uh, it definitely has more grow space. I think that this will be a better option. Um, and again, if you're gonna do this, start small. Start small and grow it. I just went full out. All right, I got it set up. Uh, very small now but I like it like this I was able to clear up some space I guess <laughs> I don't even know if you can tell but yeah it's all automated um, still got to deal with this drip situation here but it drips onto this tray drips into that glass I might turn these spaces of drips into like seedling starters or something but boom that's my setup I ordered some new lights and some better LED strips because these are terrible but yeah I don't know when the next update video will be maybe when I get more plants growing but that's my new setup.